Good afternoon and welcome to 200forexpips.com. I am here with the review of 22nd of November 2016. Okay guys, we are going to talk about the trading from a great button pawn JPY and I have taken like 8 to 9 trades till now and all are successful and I am going to talk about uh, this with reasons. Okay, great button pawn JPY. I am going to the pure guys i had a buy position uh, sorry i had a buy position yes okay so it was very easy you know that the, from the morning the market was just ab trying to above the uh, trying to keep itself above the dotted blue line so i have taken the opportunity by buying the pair and guys look the monitor was turned uh, green uh, according to the trading system and i have taken a buy position and guys make sure uh, that you should not take any kind of buy positions now because i have just scalped the market for some time uh, the long trading of the day and possibly could be bearish and i will show you that what my signal report says so do not think that if i have taken a buy position then you are going to take a buy position on it no i am not suggesting buy on great button bond jpy today uh, well i will tell you that how i trade okay the next trade that is taken on new zealand usd and 512 dollar collected on the trade so guys i'm it was a very easy trade guys look it was close below the dotted blue line and the market was down according to this trading system so that was uh, 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 traded according to the trading system and one more thing guys look at here uh, the dodgy appeared after the bullish trend look at this dodgy so it normally represents the trend reversal and it was down also look at the top i had a error signal appeared from the other uh, trading uh, indicator and it has also given me a sell signal so basically i had three confirmations on that time uh, even four you can say one two and that was close below three and that was the fourth confirmation on that time but normally i just seek one confirmation okay 512 dollars collected on great new zealand usd okay when it closes above then you need to buy the pair when it closes below the dotted blue line then you need to sell the pair okay the next trade 448 dollar quickly on great button pound usd okay that was a sell position okay guys you know that uh, in the previous really yesterday uh, the market went up and after that uh, uh, you know that the market uh, market was just making a bearish pattern like this and i was just expecting the market to come up to the dotted blue middle line so i have just sold the pair and guys you can see here the red uh, flower appeared for the sell at the top so simply that was also the reason and one more thing again the reason is there look at the dodgy and this dodgy appeared after the uh, after the uh, buy trend after the bullish trend so it's down and one more thing look at this dodgy this dodgy appeared before the uh, after the bearish trend it was up and look at here that was the dodgy here it appeared after a bullish trend so it takes the market down so guys i trade with reasons okay so now you can see that why i have taken the sell position because i had a lot of reasons so i'm even there are more reasons for it but i'm not going to explain this in the, uh, in the here because i have something left for my uh, video course that i have already prepared okay one more thing i'm uh, going to talk about um, uh, okay the next trade australian dollar usd sell position today guys i made a quick profit of 1064 dollars so i had an error on that time and the australian dollar usd is weak according to the prediction and the red signal was there so from the monitor so i just sold the pair for some time and have collected my 1064 dollar profit on the trade okay the next uh, profit has taken on usd jpy guys here look it was a very easy trade buy and that was a scalping technique that i have already told you look it was closed above the dotted blue line the last candle last hour candle was closed above the dotted blue line i simply placed a buy order and just closed my trade 1029 dollar uh, by scalping on usd jpy guys one thing make, make sure one thing that you should not plan long trades here because most of the time what the people do is that if they have market was closed above the dotted blue line then they target up to the uh, uh, the red level no this is not uh, this is not uh, recommended i have just told you about this like me look this candle is even not closed but it, it went up up to here and i just closed my trade and collected my profit this is just a scalping technique this is uh, when the market is in the middle it does not mean that you are going to take a long trade here no just scalp the market and collect on the same candle okay the next thing uh, is euro usd sell position and guys it was a very easy trade you know when i was making the video yesterday i was here and i just uh, uh, throw my signal that euro usd is weak and it will go down it's just trying to dodge you and guys now you can see that clearly the market is way down one more thing guys i am going to uh, just verify the dodgy again look here uh, i have placed these two lines for your understanding because i have given my signal here look i had arrow signal on that time monitor was red and it was going down but one more thing uh, just to add your knowledge 
this doji appears after a buy trend after a bullish trend doji appears one two and three doji here third one so after that you can see the market is down okay so as i have explained to you previously when the doji appears after a bullish trend it takes the market down when it appears after bearish trend it takes the market up so guys again i have sold i have placed a sell position on euro usd and look it was way down and i have collected my 808 profit okay 554 dollar <coughs> sorry for that on usd chf guys the same technique as applied on usd jpy it was closed above the dotted blue line overly candle was closed here I just placed a sell order, collected my profit by doing little scalping. And the last trade, Great Britain Pound JPY. Okay, so guys, one trade I have shown the first trade uh, that was the on the buy position. Uh, on the sell, I have shown you that I made money, but this is about the uh, sorry, this is uh, I also told you about the buy position that I take early in the morning. And this is about the sell position that I took when I um, when I, I was just going to sleep at night. So I placed a sell order here. You know that Great Britain Pound JPY went up in the last session, and after that you can see that it I had a red signal here, and it was already in the red zone. And you know that I have explained you when the market starts making a bearish pattern in the red zone, then you can sell the pair and look, it's way down to the dotted blue line, which I was expecting. And that was the reason I had first gained a profit from sell early in the morning, and then I just I have taken trade to uh, to buy that pair uh, for scalping in the midday. And guys, overall expectations are down. Okay, guys, one more thing is about this. Uh, look at USD JPY and look at USD CHL. So some people uh, email me about my trading system, about my trading method. And they ask that most of the time you do not set up as any kind of stop loss for the for your trade. Okay, guys, you know, when I trade, I trade like this. And I have shown you my series of profits with examples. You can see my success ratio is just like I, uh, I believe in one thing. If you have just like three to four trades out of 70, which are losing, you should not have more than this much number for the losing figures. You must be competent, you must have a very good practice and you must have a very good trading system. If you have the right knowledge, if you have the right trading system and you are done with your practice, then guys, there is no, no need to worry about it. So, so people just surprised that how is it possible that uh, you can only uh, you can only lose three to four trades in, in uh, after every 70 trades? So guys, the answer is very simple. Just review about the market today. So USDCH of hourly candle was closed above buy, and this is the uh, this is the another buy. So guys, two trades here. So what left? 68 figure is left. I mean, um, the more 68 trades. So guys, if you compare my YouTube videos, then you will find a lot of examples like this. I mean, uh, just you compare the videos for a weekly basis. I think on a weekly basis, my trade setups must be like 20 to 25 trades when the overly candle was closed above the dotted blue line. This is a simple answer. That's why I do not set up a stop loss. Because most of the time, I am 90% sure that the market will keep going up in the in the direction that I, my trading system has predicted. You know, I have a lot of proofs and lot of examples on my YouTube channel. If you are just new, then I suggest you before sending the email, go and watch my previous videos and you will get your answers. That most of the time, when the hourly candle closed above the dotted blue line, then it takes the market up and you will be able to see like 20 to 25 trades in each month uh, by trading this technique. And the rest of trades uh, are just like uh, based on the red zone. When the market comes up in the upper red zone, it takes the market down. And when it comes up in the lower red zone, it takes the market up. So guys, that that is the reason I do not set up my stop loss most of the time. And one more thing. I watch my trades live. I just keep an eye and I just uh, keep an eye on finding different kind of opportunities uh, for my trading. And you know that I, I'm also uh, I'm also engaged with very big investors and I, I just provide them with my suggestion on some trades and I'm just working with some financial institutions who are working on my suggestions. So guys, I'm not doing anything that is going to hurt myself. So I know when I do not set up a stop loss. So I know that I can afford, I can afford a trade without a stop loss. But you make sure 
that if you are trading like uh, uh, if you have something account size like from 1k to 10k then guys you must set up a stop loss because for you st stop loss is very important and also please check the news on forexfactory.com if there is some kind of news ahead then please do not uh, do not leave your trade on floating because the smaller account has maximum chances to uh, be vanished from the market Anyways guys now I'm going to review about the signal service in a very quicker way because the video is already extended Okay, the second uh, 22nd November uh, signals report that was your USD bearish and uh, New Zealand USD bearish Great Britain pound USD bearish according to my prediction Yes, it's it has made a bullish pattern yesterday, but I'm a, a bearish on your uh, Great Britain pound USD today USD JPY bullish, Australian dollar USD bearish and USD CHF bullish and USD Canadian dollar bearish and Great Britain pound USD uh, JPY bearish. So guys, uh, this is my signals report and that's my trading system that I have explained you about it. So guys, if you want to get the trading system, if you want to subscribe to the signal service and if you want to uh, get my Forex video lessons, then please send your inquiries on info at the rate of 200 forexwebscom also please like my videos subscribe to my youtube channel and if you need any kind of assistance then please visit my website or email me you will get further information thank you